Oopsie. I hope I've got it right this morning. It should say live now and it says live to me. Good morning to you all and cheers. Welcome to morning worship. I have no idea if I'm sideways or upside down. But if you'll bear with me, we will continue this experiment until I get it right. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, James and Barbara. Good morning, Leslie. How nice to have you all assembled. And very impressive for a rather dull Tuesday. So, I'll just wait a second or two in case anybody else is joining us. Oh yes, good morning Margaret Simmons, Mary Middleton and Lynn Hudson. Oh, thank you Leslie for letting me know I'm the right way up. It's, it's so nice to know that I've done the right thing for once. Morning Brian and Gloria. Morning Barbara. You are the upright. Well, who knows? <laughs> well, I've just got a different camera orientation. And I've got, today I'm relying on a pile of books to keep my camera in the right place. But a little later on, I'm going to get a, one of these camera holders. So there's no risk of the camera slipping. Good morning, Gail and Gloria and Diane Davis. Diana Woodcock. Shall we then take a moment or two to centre ourselves and to begin our morning worship? If you want to look ahead in your Bible, it's Psalm 132 this morning. Of course, if you're following it on, a, um, on the app, you'll have the whole service in front of you. Shall we begin? The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. And now we come to Psalm 132. Please read it aloud if you, if you wish. It's called A Song of Ascents. Lord, remember David and all his self-denial. He swore an oath to the Lord. He made a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not enter my house or go to my bed. I will allow no sleep to my eyelids or slumber to my eyelids till I find a place for the Lord, the mighty one of Jacob. We held it in Ephratah. We came upon it in the fields of Ja'ar. Let us go to his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool saying, Arise, Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. May your priests be clothed with your righteousness. May your faithful people sing for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not reject your anointed one. The Lord swore an oath to David, a sure oath he will not revoke. One of your descendants I will place on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and the statutes I teach them, then their sons will sit on your throne forever and ever. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling, saying, This is my resting place forever and ever. Here will I sit enthroned. For I have desired it. I will bless her with abundant provisions, 
Her poor I will satisfy with food. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful people will ever sing for joy. Here will I make a horn grow for David, and set up a lamp for my anointed one. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but his head will be adorned with a radiant crown. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our New Testament reading for Tuesday the 27th of October comes from 1 Timothy, um, and it's a very short reading indeed, so those of you who were with morning prayer yesterday know that it follows on in a letter to Timothy, commending him and advising him on what to do and how to continue safely. So, Timothy, my son, I'm giving you my command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by recalling them, you may fight the battle well, holding on to faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected, and so has suffered shipwreck with regard to their faith. Among them are Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I've handed over to Satan to be taught not to blaspheme. Open my eyes, Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. We think of those this morning who are going to work and travelling through, uh, wondering what the day will bring and Covid. We think, what will our leaders be doing in the decisions they have to make today? And by leaders, I mean not just national leaders, but international leaders and those at more local level. We think of those who are providing meals for the school children so that whatever the government has done will be added to by personal, local and very heartfelt efforts. We think of those too who are sick and suffering in body, mind or spirit. And here we offer up to you, God, in our hearts, the names of those that we know need your great assistance at this time. We pray for the emergency services, including, of course, the police and our National Health Service, who are trying so hard to keep us safe in this time of very great challenge. We remember too those who are so much less fortunate than ourselves, the ones who tend to fall through the cracks of society, those who've committed offences against the law, those who are homeless, those who are perhaps addicted to drugs. And Diane asked for the healing of Enid, Bob, Sue, Sam, Natalie, Vic, Tony, Kathleen, Mark, Trish and Kate. Diane is lifting to us Meg and Raphael, Sue 
Andrew, Kate, Archie and Maya. We pray for those who have died and those who mourn. May they secure in the knowledge of life eternal with our Lord Jesus Christ and find that God is with them in their grief to support them and to consider that he loves them always. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low so that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us, in whichever version you particularly find comforting and comfortable. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are all yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that concludes our short service of morning prayer for today. Some of you have commented on the screen that you've heard a little tinkle of an angel bell somewhere. And yes, you were right. That was my little old girly cat having a jolly good scratch and hitting the bell on her collar. So she too was with us in prayer this morning. It's a dampish day looking outside but may we all find something to do today that really makes a difference to someone else's life. A phone call, a, a, a chat over a fence at a respectable distance. I think I'd better go and get my breakfast made because uh, this is an hour or so earlier than I usually rise. Thank you so much for your attendance and I hope to see you again soon. Good morning.